trigonometric identities. So we have we are already over 50 identities by now and let's reach the target of 100 and these are really good and difficult identities. This is one of the most difficult identity which you'll do. Now here it is cos to the power of 6x plus sine to the power of 6x equals to 1 minus 3 sine squared x plus 3 sine to the power 4x. So we'll use the formula a cube plus b cube. You remember that? Let me write down that formula first for you so that you can expand and then solve the problem. Now this is kind of we could write this as a cube plus b cube form. The formula is a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b times a square when this is plus here it comes minus a b plus b square. So that's the formula for a cube plus b cube. So what we will do is we'll start from the left side and we see we see this as cube of a square, right? This is cube of sine square, correct? So so our strategy is to start from left side and then write these terms as cubic form and expand and simplify, okay? So I'm going to write this as see how cos square x cube. So when I write cos x square x cube, it is cos to the power of 6x, right? Similarly, I'll write sine to the power of 6x as sine square x cube. So that is my left hand side, correct? Now I'll use the formula a cube plus b cube, which is a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. So this is equal to a plus b. a is cos square x and b is sine square x. So I get cos square x plus sine square x. That is a plus b. And then I have a square, which is square of cos square x, which is cos 4x, correct? Minus this times this, which is cos square x sine square x, correct? Plus b square, that is sine to the power of 4. Correct? Now, you know what is cos square x plus sine square x? Cos square x plus sine square x 1, that is a Pythagorean identity, correct? Therefore, it reduces to that term, correct? Cos to the power of 4x minus cos square x sine square x plus sine to the power of 4x. Okay? So, we got 1 times that. So, I'll, let me just write this term now. So, what I'll write is cos to the power of 4 can be written as cos square whole square, right? So, let me write this as cos square whole square, then I'll convert them into sine. You see on the right side, we only have sine. Therefore, we'll try to convert these cosines into sine. Then, we can simplify and get the right side, which is required, right? So, let me write cos to the power of 4x as cos square x square, correct? Minus this cos square x can be written as 1 minus sine square x times sine square x plus sine to the power 4, which is sine 4x, right? Why did we get this? Because we know this portion is equal to 1, right? So, let me write here. So, what we used here is cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1. That is what, right? And secondly, we just utilized here that cos square x is equals to 1 minus sine square x. That is, by rearranging this formula, right? Cos square x is 1 minus sine square x, correct? Now, cos square x can be written as 1 minus sine square x whole square minus now let me multiply this and open this up so minus sine square x and minus and minus becomes plus so we get plus sine to the power of 4x plus sine to the power of 4x 
Now, let me expand this. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, I get 1 minus 2 times ab, which is 2 times sine square x plus b square, which is sine to the power of 4x. And here we have minus sine square x. Yeah, we multiply this. Minus sine square x. And here we have plus 2 sine 4x, right? 1 and 1, 2 sine 4x. Now, now we have 1 from here and this is sine square x. So how many sine square x we have? So let's combine the like terms, right? So we have 2 here and 1 here, right? So we have minus 3 sine square x and as far as sine 4x is concerned we got 1, 4 is here sine and 2 here. So we get 3 sine 4x. That is the right side. Is it okay? So we proved that left side is equal to right side. So that is how this is going to be proved. Thank you.